Welcome back to the truck stop, everybody. How the hell are you doing? Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic freaking day. Yeah, maybe. Well, all right. So I just got pulled over. And, you know, I know this is kind of after the fact and all this other stuff. And, you know, here's the people. Everybody was making a big deal about, you know cops are this and cops are that. I mean, as you can see, I am a white guy. An old white guy. But, here's the deal. You know, the cop that pulled me over, super cool. I mean, could he could he have dug to found something wrong with the truck? Yeah, probably. Did he? No. Did I get all bent out of shape? No. I wanted to record. I did ask him if I could record. Um, he asked me politely not to, which is fine. Um, you know, I don't want to invade anybody's privacy or anything like that. Um, but, you know, the only thing I'm really kind of irritated about is not because of him. It's because of the government. Um the trucking world now has what they call CSA score. And he gave me a seatbelt warning, which at in the moment, I didn't think anything about. But that's the reason why he pulled me over. It was because he thought I didn't have my seatbelt on, which I did. I just didn't have it on properly. And uh, so he gave me a seatbelt warning. I can't fight a seatbelt warning. And yeah. So I'm kind of stuck with that on my CSA score now. But the moral of the story is, you know, he wasn't a dick. I was not a dick to him. You know, it's like, okay, people, listen. I have a job to do. He has a job to do. Whatever it is, you know, whatever it is, you know, they need us, we need them, and, you know, it is what it is. It's never going to go away. So if you're driving a truck, you are driving a truck, um, or a car, or whatever it is, and you get pulled over, if you're doing something wrong, don't bitch. You did something wrong. If you're not doing anything wrong, still don't freak out on the guy, you know, or girl, whichever officer happens to be, you know, uh, whatever gender happens to be the officer. Um, you know, just explain to the guy, like, or girl, and just say, hey, listen, I wasn't doing anything wrong. If they persist, then go to court. There's no reason to, you know, shoot somebody or anything like that. I mean, that's just crazy. I mean, come on, people. What the fuck are you doing? You know, and like this whole Black Lives Matter thing. I'm not saying don't protest. I'm just saying don't block the road that people need to travel up and down to make this freaking country and state move. So... Just use your damn head. That's all I'm saying. You know, they're they're just doing their job. You know, I mean, I'm trying to do my job. They're trying to do their job. You guys watching are trying to do what you need to do. And what what the hell? Let's just get on with life. It's he didn't pick me out. He made an assumption. He, you know, politely came and up and you know I didn't put my seat I had it on I mean technically but then technically I had it improperly on but whatever um you know I don't I don't understand you know are some of those cases that you heard on TV and on the internet are they true probably are some of them not true? Probably. 
I don't know any of the buddy, any pop, anybody that got shot by a cop. Do you? Probably not. So, just calm down. Damn, just worry about you. Worry about you. You, 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 you. Don't worry about me. Don't worry about that guy over there. Over there. Which there's nobody over there. <laughs> but, but, you know, just worry about you. Take care of you. Make sure you're a god before you start worrying about somebody like me. And yes, I burned the shit out of my finger, so don't, whatever. But, you know, there's no reason to flip out about anything until you are involved. You are involved. If you're not involved, you don't know the whole truth. Period. He said, she said at that point. That's all there is to it. I hate to be the bearer of the honest, cold, hard truth or whatever the hell you want to call it. The fact of the matter is, you were not there. You were not directly involved. What's the point? Okay? The cop pulled me over. He had me on the side of the road for like a half hour. Okay? The guy was not a dick. I was not a dick. We got on, got along, we did our jobs, and guess what? Now I'm waiting in line to get unloaded. Simple. Simple. And before anybody comes up and goes, well, you ain't a black guy. And da, 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 da. True. True. I'm not, as you can tell. But, you know, I got to believe that... Um, Somebody with their little kid just drove by in a skidler. It was kind of cool. <laughs> but I got to believe that even if you are a black guy or you're Hispanic or you're white or you're green or you're purple or you're pink or whatever color, I've got to believe that if you come across as a human being to another human being, and you have nothing to hide, and you did not do anything wrong, you're going to be okay. If you did do something wrong, admit it. Okay, I was speeding. Sorry. I'll slow it down. If I didn't have my seatbelt on, yeah, I'm sorry. Give me a ticket. I'll, I'll have my seatbelt on next time. Simple, right? Why, as humans, do we have to overcomplicate everything? Why? Do you overcomplicate stuff? I know I do sometimes. Um, you know, it's what we do. It's human. It's what you do. All right. Um, but I don't understand why people get involved with other people that they don't even know. You don't know me. I mean, you're getting to know me. You don't know me. I mean, all of this you know, on these videos could be fake. You never know. It's not fake. But, you know, I'm just saying, you know, yeah, the truck stop is, you know, what I can, I would consider a family, okay? But even your own family, your own family, do you really know them? No. I, I, I mean, even my family, I don't know, I don't know 100% of my family. God dang. I, I'm going to have to look up because that gets rid of that little fucking third fucking quadruple chin going on down here. But anyways, um, so that's kind of what I wanted to record today was, you know, I got pulled over. You know, I mean, am I a little upset? Yeah, but it wasn't because of the officer. It was because of the lawmakers, basically. And, you know, he was just doing his job. He knows I was doing my job. You know, he he found out that I had my seatbelt on. You know, okay, I had it on improperly. He gave me a warning. <laughs> Big freaking deal. Guess what? I'm now where I got to unload. He's off doing his job and wherever the hell he is. And we were super cool. I mean, that's all there was to it. Simple, right? So, anyways, guys and girls, 
if you're new, if you're new, <laughs> hit that thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button. It should be like right where my finger is, right there, or over meh, there. So you have two ways to, to subscribe to the truck stop. Cool. Yeah. Um, everybody else and the new people. Thank you. Um, and if you don't want to subscribe, I understand. Um, just keep in mind, every Tuesdays and Thursdays at 10 a.m. my time, Central Time, um, we post vlogs. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we do gaming. So if you want to come hang out on the PS4, play some cool games, have some fun, chit-chat, act a fool, whatever, um, look me up. It'll be below. Um, if you guys have an email or whatever, Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff. Other social media is coming, by the way. It is coming. Just trying to decide which one I want. But anyways, um, also, too, if you haven't noticed already, I have been very busy planning stuff for you. I keep looking at the screen instead of the camera because the camera is like ee, and the screen is mm. so it's like I would rather look at myself than look at you guys but anyways alright we're done um, I said what I needed to say and I mean if you guys have any comments by all means leave them below um, because like I said I just don't understand why people are up everybody else's butts but they can't get their own shit straight first I mean, just whatever. It is what it is, I guess. But anywho, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support and the thumbs up. But uh, until next time, until next time, be safe. Always be safe, all right? No matter what you're doing, always be safe. And no matter what you're doing, no matter what you're driving, no matter what you're riding, you got to be cool on that stool. Just not this stool, this one. But you gotta be cool on a stool. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Oh, and girls, don't I can't forget the girls. I can't forget you. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs> bye bye.